Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very interesting problem specifically for J advanced type of uh, exam. It's an original problem. Uh, so guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, name of this problem is of course of uh, non-conducting slab. Guys, my current courses on an academy are uh, course of INPHO Foundation and uh, for J Advanced 2023 and Image for J 2023. It is starting from today and uh, Advanced Problem Solving course for J Advanced 2021 Part 2 will be starting in a special classes. It's uh, completely free and uh, uh, Advanced GTs uh, for J Advanced 2021 in a special classes is already happening. We have conducted so far 13 uh, GTs and advanced courses for j 2022 in hindi and english have already started from 20th and 23rd of april and currently we have covered uh, nearly entire uh, electrostatics and guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on an academy using my code nitin sir and uh, for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the problem statement uh, an infinite solid non-conducting slab having a variable volume charge density given by rho x is equal to rho naught x by mod x by l where x is the distance from yz plane the slab is uh, extended from minus infinity to plus infinity in yz directions uh, the slab thickness is lying from uh, x uh, coordinate lying from minus l to l uh, what is the applied what is the force applied by one half of the slab on another uh, half also draw ex graph so here i have uh, uh, forgot to write the force it is the what is the force applied by one half of the slab on another half so concept uh, of this problem you can uh, see in order to find field variation we can use gauss theorem and uh, we can observe easily uh, that since the entire slab is uh, positively charged and x mod x we have taken so for x negative x positive everywhere this charge is positive and this slab can be assumed as uh, as if many thin sheets are placed next to each other and we know that uh, a field due to thin sheets is uh, constant and it is uh, perpendicular to the plane of it so here uh, we are expecting the field in the direction of x alone so flux passing through we can take uh, a gaussian surface which is uh, of the form of uh, cylinder here and uh, by symmetry i can say the field in this entire plane is going to be zero so through this small uh, cylinder of length x because we are interesting in uh, uh, we are interested in finding the field uh, here so uh, you can see flux passing through this surface is zero flux passing through curved surface is zero because area is uh, in upward direction and this is the direction of field both are perpendicular so there will not be any flux so flux will be associated with this surface alone so for x less than l uh, the overall flux through this cylinder i can write it is uh, ex times a and that should be the value of uh, q in by epsilon naught where charge inside will be integral rho dv where dv is adx so 0 to x if i integrate i am going to get electric field as a function of x coordinate which comes as uh, rho x square by 2 epsilon naught l which is a parabolic function similarly for outside points outside the slab i will extend this uh, cylinder of length x to any general coordinate but this time charge is present only up till here so one more time uh, the same logic i'll be using for uh, flux uh, ex dot a that is e dot a and that should be equal to q in by epsilon naught and that is equal to integral rho dv but this time limit of x will go up till l only because charge is present till this point so 0 to l so 0 to l will be the limit when i substitute and simplify i am going to get this field as rho naught l by 2 epsilon naught you can check that field is uh, continuous at x equal to l if i substitute x equal to l here rho l by 2 epsilon naught i am going to get so uh, in order to plot this graph uh, 0 to L it is a parabolic function here and uh, after that it becomes a constant right so graph will be something like this and a symmetrical graph will be present in the negative x as well now in order to find the force I'm going to considering uh, consider here a differential uh, sheet 
having a thickness of dx and uh, the net field here is uh, ex so the force experienced by this uh, sheet will be dq into ex i'm assuming that entire plane has uh, the entire plane has uh, area of uh, s so i can write this uh, dq charge as rho x into s into dx and the field value inside this uh, slab is rho not x square by 2 epsilon not l so from here when i substitute the value of rho x and calculate the total force it is going to give me rho not square s by 2 epsilon not l square and this becomes uh, x cube dx limit of x will be 0 to l uh, because only on this half i am interested in finding force so that's how the limit of 0 to l comes here and uh, f by s value will be the force per unit area uh, uh, here so because we cannot calculate uh, the overall force unless until the area is given so when i'm writing here force applied by one half of the slap on uh, another half i'm actually interested in force per unit area otherwise uh, the area of slab has to be mentioned which i'm taking as s here so this force per unit area i'm going to get as rho naught square l square by eight epsilon naught this is going to be the answer for uh, this problem I hope you have enjoyed this problem and uh, learned a new concept how to apply this uh, Gauss theorem in case of slab and uh, calculate the force. So if you have enjoyed this problem, please leave a like, share this problem with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe it and uh, I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.